Hello guys, what you're about to watch now is an 8 minute video from my course Roles and Permissions in Laravel and I'm releasing this lesson for free here on YouTube but for some context so you would understand what is happening on the screen throughout that course I'm creating a blog or in fact blog management system where different people could write articles there's an admin, there's a writer, there's a publisher and at some point we get into teams or organizations. So how can an article be managed by multiple users within the same organization? So in this video we are moving from user restricted access to article to the organization restriction of the articles. I hope you enjoy it and you can check out the whole course at the URL below. Now let's talk about the teams or organizations. What if that blog is managed by a team of writers? and someone wants to add someone else to help them edit the articles. In this lesson we will create an invitation link where someone can register kind of as a referral and be attached to that team or organization and also we will filter that global scope so everyone could access their team's articles, not only their own. So let's begin. In database it will be as simple as adding a field in users table. So users will be organization ID foreign key pointing to the same users table. So basically the first user of the organization is the organization. This is the most simple setup and we will get more complicated in the next lessons. But for now it will be enough. So we do php artisan make migration add organization id to users table. And we have that migration and let's add And we added a field organization ID with the foreign key to itself, to users table. Let's run the migration. And we need to make it fillable. So user PHP on top organization ID. Now let's go to our registration form. So we log out. And let's make it so that register has a parameter of organization ID equals, for example, one. It doesn't change anything in the form, but we will make it a hidden field which will be posted and save the organization ID. So if we go to register blade, we will do input type hidden name organization ID and value will be request organization ID default value empty. Let's see if it still works and let's see the source organization ID value one. So it works. And if it doesn't exist, form still loading well and organization ID is empty. All good. Now we need to go to register controller, which was automatically generated by Laravel when we do Laravel new auth. And in here, all we need to do is add organization ID data organization ID which may be empty so we need to check if that is set at all and it's not empty and then we set it up otherwise it's not let's format it a bit okay and this should be one question and let's try it out so we fill in the form with form filler. Organization ID 1 is the parameter. We'll click our register. We are in as a new user and let's see what the database brings. Refresh and we have organization ID 1. So we modified the registration form and now that Shane is in a team of Jason Lin. And how does the organization leader know what is the URL? So let's tell them. Let's add another menu item called invite app blade PHP. Here, let's copy and paste and do invite to route invite. And that route invite will be inside of auth, but not inside of is admin. So route view invite invite, which means that it won't contain any controller or any logic. It's just URL invite will be parsed into a view invite. And that view will be the same as articles index, for example. We will just copy and paste that. So file save as 
invite blade in the main folder. Okay, and then invite a teammate. And in the body, all we need to do is link to invite. Delete everything else. Link for invitation will be route register organization ID equals should be auth ID, right? But it's not that simple. What if that user is already invited to someone else's team? So they need to invite to that parent team, right? So we need to have a condition. If current user has organization ID, then we put that as a parameter. Otherwise, it's auth ID. Also, we forgot to add a name to our route, so invite. And now if we refresh the page, we see invite. And if we click that, there we go. We have organization ID of one, which is parent ID. My user ID currently logged in is different. But if I register as a new user, just a simple user, we go register, again, filling the form. And my link should be my ID, invite. And then organization ID 14, which is current user. So anyone who wants to register, I log out. I copy and paste that link and it is a registration form. So we took care of registration, now we need to take care of article access. So for example, we have an article with user ID 12, and let's register to a team of user ID 12 as a different user, and we go to articles and we don't see anything, right? But we should see the articles of our team. And to change that, we go to our article model to the global scope we added really long time ago, and we need to change this condition. It's not auth ID, it should be organization ID. So we add organization ID as a variable and it will be equal if that user has organization ID. It's pretty similar what we did just with link. Then we have this otherwise ID. Okay, and let's refresh the page. And there we go, two articles. And also we need to change one more thing. Remember we added a policy. So if you go to edit, it will tell you you do not own this article. So we need to change that article policy and add user ID or organization ID. Or, and we refresh and edit is accessible. And finally, on new article, new article should be saved not with current user ID, but to the team. Of course, it could be different ways, but in my case, I think it's more logical that if I have a team, that everything belongs to a team account. So in store method, we also need to basically copy and paste that thing. So organization ID and user is organization ID. Let's try it out fill in new article, save article, and let's see where it belongs to. So three articles instead of two, and that should probably be correct. Yeah, so another article with user ID 12, although my user currently is ID 15. So in this lesson, we took care of the basic organization structure, which is user under another user.